I never thought I'd have to make the video I'm about to make on why so many Aussies are leaving Australia and how there's so many people out there that just don't get why it is. They live in this bubble that doesn't allow them to have any empathy for the majority of Australians out there. This has come from the comments that I get. People going, don't let the door hit you on the way out. You can't cut it in Australia. That's why you have to leave. You're a soup. You're a whinger. You're a millennial. Oh, you don't have a work ethic. Blah, 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 blah. All these comments of people that just can't comprehend why someone would leave Australia. Their beautiful country, their home, their, their, the place that they grew up. They just can't comprehend why anyone would want to leave. And the answer is quite simple, really. The reason why there's honest, hardworking Australians leaving Australia is because the economic prison is in Australia. The cost of living has gotten so bad so quickly that it's better to pack up everything you've got and go somewhere else than it is to stick it out. Because it may be hard for some of you to comprehend, but it's very, very difficult to just push through and stop sulking and make it work when there's no end in sight. And that's what the silent majority of Australians are facing right now. There is no foreseeable end to the cost of living crisis in Australia right now. There's no foreseeable end. For a lot of Australians, they're looking down the barrel of going, well, I can't afford a house. I can't afford to save up enough for one. I can barely afford to eat. My job's not paying me anymore. What the hell do I do? I'm told by everyone, oh, just suck it up. Just push through it. You're Australian. You can make this work. Bullshit. It's really just bubbling to the surface that a lot of Australians are putting their hands up and going, I'm done. I have more opportunities if I sell everything I own, get on a plane and piss off to another country. That's how bad it's going. What's happening in Australia is unprecedented. Australia's always been the country that everyone wants to go to because the opportunities are here. Now the reverse is happening. We have reverse migration. We have Australians that are like, the opportunities aren't here anymore. I'm going somewhere else. And I know there's going to be a bunch of you in the comments that are going to say, suck it up. You know, there's plenty of opportunities in Australia if you just work hard. Tell that to the majority of Australians who are just making ends meet, working 12 hours a day, coming home, barely affording food, rent and electricity and coming home and going, I'm working as hard as I possibly can and I'm not getting any opportunities. Tell that to those Australians. That's why there's so many Australians leaving. It's not that Australia isn't a beautiful country. It's not like, it's not that Australia doesn't have a, an awesome culture. It's not like Australia doesn't have clean streets and it's not that Australia is not safe. It's nothing to do with that. It, it simply comes down to the fact that there's a lot of Australians looking down the barrel of going from middle class to lower class into poverty and don't want that to happen and want to do something about it. Now, is that sad? Yes, of course it's sad. No one leaves the country that they're born in, the country they love, unless there's a reason to. For us, we were not getting ahead in Australia, we were slowly being churned through the meat grinder of Australia, we were slowly tearing our family apart, and two years later, we're finally living the life we've always wanted to live. The life that I pictured for myself and my family. So if you're sitting there with your eight houses, judging someone for wanting to leave Australia because they can't make it work, you should take a hard look at yourself and give yourself an uppercut. Honestly, how can you possibly judge someone for wanting a better life for themselves and their family? Because it's a pretty sad state of affairs that leaving Australia and going to another country is even a viable solution to this problem. 20 years ago, it would have been complete madness to pack yourself up and leave Australia because there was opportunities. It was a place where you can get ahead. And honestly, I'm one of the lucky ones. I was able to leave Australia and I've explained why I've been able to do that in other videos, but I was one of the lucky ones that was able to leave for a better life. There is a bunch of Australians right now that don't get that opportunity. There is a whole bunch of Australians right now that don't have that opportunity. These people are literally staring down the barrel of poverty and can do nothing about it. Because you can tell them to work harder, you can tell them to get a job, you can tell them to suck it up and save for a mortgage. But we all know that that's not the case. We all know that these people are working hard. We all, we all know these people are saving what they can. We all just live in this fantasy land that everyone can get ahead in Australia. It's just simply not the case anymore. Australia's cooked. That's the long and short of it. You have the landlord class and you have everyone else.
And unfortunately, until something changes, this migration out of Australia is going to continue. Because why would you stay in Australia if you have no opportunity to get ahead? Why? Because the beaches are pretty? Because the streets are clean? That's great if you can enjoy those beaches because you can afford a car and the price of fuel and drive down there. Yeah, that, that's fantastic. For most Australians, that's not even an option. They're just working to make ends meet. They're working to survive right now. And my fear is I just don't know how many Australians can do that for that much longer. And you can sit here and, and shake your head and say what I'm saying is a cop out. I'm a pragmatic person. I'm a realist. I don't just have rose colored glasses on because I'm told by society that Australia is the place to be because it's the best country in the world. And the chances of my life getting better in Australia or getting worse, definitely way towards getting worse. And I know that's not the case for everyone. There's some people out there that have made amazing opportunities in Australia and I salute you. So you guys are doing an amazing job, but the vast majority aren't. And they're just the collateral damage of this landlord class. And I don't see anything changing anytime soon. So if you want my thoughts on why people are fleeing Australia, that's why. And that's why I think it's happening. And that's why I did it. And I'm sure that's why there's a disproportionately large number of Australians leaving Australia that would never have thought about that 10 years ago.